has a degenerative condition called retinitis pigmentosa and had given up hope of having a guide animal as he has a phobia of dogs. But in a couple of years, he'll have his own miniature horse to help him around the streets of his hometown Blackburn in Lancashire. Digby, an eight-month-old American miniature horse, is being trained by Katie Smith from North Allerton in North Yorkshire. His training will take another couple of years, but Digby will be able to help his owner in much the same way as a guide dog. I have always loved horses, but it's good to see the benefits for people who are visually impaired. He needs to get used to being out and about in Blackburn. I also think I will have to give myself an extra hour to try to get around my daily routine, as people will want to come and see the horse and touch him in all sorts. Horses have a longer lifespan than dogs, living to be between 45 and 50 years old, which some have argued makes them a more appropriate lifelong companion for blind people than dogs. You may have to have two or three guide dogs in the whole time that one guide horse would assist you instead. And on top of that, with each guide dog, you'd have to think about the emotional bonds to them too. Also, there's always the chance that people may have an allergy or phobia of dogs, so it really is a more varied choice for people. The good thing about Digby is that he wears a nappy and is toilet trained. Mr. Patel later said, The smart Digby only having met me once before our last training session in Blackburn, Digby remembered me well. He's got a fine memory. He rolled against my leg and stood next to me, which apparently is a sign. I'm amazed at how good his temperament is for a youngster. He's only eight months old. Well, well, well. Whatever next? Died horse? No! <laughs> What's it cost a bomb to feed this thing? Have they looked at that statistic? How much is it going to cost to feed a horse compared to a dog? Thank <laughs> you.